Hello healers and health seekers, it's Ichoda, healing from multiple chronic illnesses through the medical medium protocols. Today I just want to make a little silly video about um, weird symptoms I have had while detoxing. Because why not? Because everybody gets like weird symptoms, right? So let's talk about it. Really what this came of is because the other day I was chatting with my friend who was also on the medical medium protocol about strange things that happen to us while detoxing. And I just thought I'd make a little list of things that I could think of that have happened for me while detoxing. And if you anyone relates to it, <laughs> great. So here's some weird symptoms I've had while detoxing. Sometimes I get shooting sharp pains in odd areas. By odd areas, I mean like the side of my breast, my right breast, in my hips. And I think those pains are pockets of viruses, but I actually honestly think that what's happening is that they're pulling out, they're coming out, and that's what's causing the pain. Like it's some kind of, I don't know. It feels like a healing pain, and that I know that doesn't make sense, but you just have to trust me. It's weird though when it happens. And it doesn't last long, but it, it's very sharp and burning and it hurts. <laughs> so I'll be like, whoo, and then it'll go away. So uh, sometimes when I'm detoxing, I get a metallic taste in my teeth. I have heard several people report that one where they get a metallic taste in their mouth, but mine will be like in my teeth. So I guess it's like heavy metals pulling out. I still have a gold cap in my tooth on the side of my mouth. And I do think that sometimes stuff is pulling out of there and I am gonna get it out. It's just a matter of time. I'll get other odd sensations in my teeth. I don't know what that means. I wrote it down the other day. <laughs> what other odd sensations? Like just, they'll just feel kind of weird. <sighs> Again, I do not know how to explain this other, to, other than to say odd sensations in my teeth. Not. Not necessarily pain, but not not pain. I don't know, it's weird. Once, the other night this happened, um, I woke up at 2 a.m. and unable to go back to sleep. Just once though, because for over a year now, I've had incredible sleep doing the medical medium protocols because I do all the stuff that he says to do for sleep and it works really well. I take melatonin, I eat bananas before I go to bed or mangoes. I am not actually that great about having electronics off an hour before I go to bed, but I don't have any electronics in my bedroom. I don't, I, my phone is turned off and in this room <laughs> behind me and does not go into the bedroom with me. I sleep with a sleep mask. I have a sleep apnea machine still that helps me and all of those things, you know, my routine is the same every night before I go to bed. So actually like once I'm in bed, my brain is like, this is where we sleep. And then it's like ready. Anyway, so it was very unusual for me to wake up at 2 a.m. But again, this was like in the middle of, um, I've been doing extra juices, extra asparagus juice and aloe water and cucumber juice. And I think that it was just my liver doing some work and it woke me up. <laughs> Other things. Oh, well, you know about this one. <laughs> the three different types of nonsense that happens on my cheeks. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, I get that splotchy rosacea, which is, I think what's going on now. The big splotches and I'll get, is it there? Yeah, it's there right now. The stuff on my chin, I get these sort of little, so the rosacea, any of the stuff kind of will go down to my chin too. And it's like little tiny bumps. And sometimes it'll be like little pinprick red bumps. And that's what I kind of associate as the mast cell rash, you know, from having that diagnosis of mast cell activation disorder. And uh, I'll get that whole butterfly rash thing, which I know is associated with lupus, but I don't have that diagnosis because I stopped pursuing diagnoses once I found medical medium because I had the answers I was looking for. So, and I'll get acne. I'll break out with like little pimples. I think I might have a couple right now. Right now I got all three stuff going on. Sometimes it's one or the other, but uh, right now it's, it's all of it. Yay detox. Oh, here's one lately that's been happening since I added Lobelia and asparagus juice and ALA because the shingles rash got mad and it's angry and it's, or not the shingles rash, I'm sorry, this shingles virus got mad in my body. 
and my whole back has just been itchy. I have, when I first started doing medical medium, itching was one of the first things that disappeared. One of, one of the first symptoms that, and it disappeared and I was so happy because I had been itchy for a while. I had itching not just on my back, but like just different parts of my body would just itch all the time. And that is shingles. It went away really quickly after I started medical medium. However, recently when I added lobelia and uh, asparagus juice, I guess the shingles virus got angry and it's my whole back is just itching constantly. Like right now it itches, right now. And so I just keep my back scratcher, I have a bamboo back scratcher and I just keep it, I have two of them. And I usually keep one in the bedroom and one out here, but um, that isn't, I don't need it in the bedroom as much. Like when I go to sleep, I go to sleep. It doesn't disturb me enough to mess with my sleep. But when I'm awake, I need that back scratcher nearby so that I can just <laughs> and scratch my back a lot. I know it'll pass. I'm not worried about it, but it's annoying. So annoying. So annoying. Oh, and the other day as I was detoxing, I had it on the, not my feet. No, no, no. It wasn't on my feet. It was on the tips of my toes. So my toes were itchy, but like kind of on the inside of them. Weird. And so I asked my husband if he would rub my feet, but not my feet, but just my toes. So that like he could just sort of, it basically, because <laughs> I couldn't scratch him. And so he just, <laughs> he just rubbed my toes and it actually did help. He puts coconut oil and rubs my feet. And I was like, I don't need my feet, just my toes this time. And he's like, okay. So yeah, the itching, whew, itching's not fun. Occasionally I will get sores just weird sores like sometimes this does not happen often it's very rare but it does happen but like either canker sores sometimes like a or a cold sore, like it'll start like I'll feel it there's like a certain kind of pinprick kind of burny sort of sensation that I get right before uh, a cold sore is gonna erupt and it's usually right here that has not, boy, that has not happened in a very long time. But it did almost happen a couple weeks ago. And then it didn't, so that was awesome. Yay, medical medium. Or the other kind of sore that I'll get in sometimes in just random spots. It, it's kind of like a boil, but it's smaller. And it's not quite a pimple. I don't know what it is, but... Uh, yeah, and th again, that does not happen often, but it has happened as a part of detox. It has happened. And I will get phlegm in my throat, and I'll be like having to clear my throat constantly. That happens. And I get, um, as part of my, my eczema presents in a very weird way, it's in my eyebrows. So I have eczema in the form of the rosacea here, but I'll get eczema like flakes in my eyebrows. <laughs> like flaky eyebrows and I don't know why I don't know why it's just there it's just there so that's another weird detox uh, symptom so what kind of weird detox symptoms do you get because those are mine those are the ones I could think of off the top of my head I'm there's others I'm sure and I know but those are the ones that kind of came to me as being like weird because I'm not going to talk about the poop and all that stuff. Yeah, those are some weird ones. So what do you get? Do, do you have weird detox symptoms sometimes? Tell me about them in the comments down below. Tell me about your weird detox symptoms. I want to hear about it. And if you have anything else to say, I want to hear that too. Thank you for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up <laughs> if you like it. Uh, I'd love to hear your comments. Subscribe to my channel if you like. Stay curious. I love you. Blessings for your continued healing. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.